Welcome to Bender's Base Building Contest. So let me show you how you start off here. We're going to connect up to the server. You can see my character is Bender24k, not admin. I'm being very scrupulous. He has not been gained admin powers. Uh, the admin does help. So we're starting at Twiggy's. I've got that all set up as the welcome center. And here is a little glimpse at my character setup. Uh, I went with a carpenter because we're doing a lot of building. I think we're going to add a few, make a little change here uh, with Dexterous. Uh, that lets you have quicker inventory transfer and we're going to save this up we got carpentry fitness maintenance um short blunt and strength i like to have a lot of strength all right and i had a character all set here with the look i like we have unlimited character uh clothing so uh, i've picked a helmet and a backpack and fire pants so good advantage all right here we go bender start here we are at twiggies so I'm going to go through all these cabinets and uh, pretty much pick up some of the things that were left here. Some of the books, how to use generators. Might as well read that right away. You know, there's mostly beer in here. <laughs> well, that figures. We'll check the back. Still mostly beer. Now, we do have our skills journal, which is already outside in the glove box of my truck. And let's quick slam a couple of mechanics levels here using the car zone videos this way i'll be that much closer to hot wiring and uh pretty much you get the points from carpenter instead of the burglar stuff we need two mechanics and one electrical to hot wire so there's two mechanics right there all right let's go over to our little gun store and stock up on whatever we need in here katanas we'll grab a couple of those and there is M16s over there in the corner. There we go. We'll grab one of those. Uh, I don't use them much, but it's nice to have them. And a bunch of ammo and clips. And then we got all the extra books here. The card books, Herbalist, all those cooking books, and the uh, electronics books where you can make all the remote-controlled things. So we'll read all those before we even go. It's very quick. The reading speed is fast here. We have 4.0 experience and also a very fast uh, page read speed so that works very well okay we're all read up and i've already got a generator in back there's a few extra magazines there uh it's locked hey hey admin admin you forgot to give me the key you you all right um hmm. oh i got a text he said he left the key out here well there it is okay good admin and here we go. Got this truck stuffed in the back with tools, all the books for carpentry, mechanics, metalwork, uh, and electrical, so we can level those up quickly. Now, I'm going to Louisville, and here we go. Heading down the road to Louisville. There's the bridge. It's all blocked. Scoot around uh, on the bridge there. Railroad bridge. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to make a pit stop here. It's night. It's dark. I don't feel like taking on Louisville in the dark, so let's this looks perfect. A little corner house here. There's not much else around. Uh, here we go. Let's get rid of this crowd of zombies. There we go. That's a few of them. They're hiding. It's kind of dark in this corner. Should have parked by the street light. Okay. Grab a few uh, essentials, food and meds. And uh, let's hop on in there. Clean it out. And pass the time with some skill building until uh, daylight. That's weird. Okay, in we go. All right, zombies. 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 Mm. See any zombies yet? I hear one. Uh, there's one sliding down the glass. Excuse me. It's the middle of the night. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Pulled those guys back to where I could at least see them. Mm. It's fun fighting with a katana. Um, it's definitely an uh, unfair advantage, but, you know, this is not standard Project Zomboid here. We're going for... Uh, building, building excellence uh, with zombies. So the zombie population is still there, and it is going to peak on day 28. And that should be fun because I'm going to Louisville, and there's already plenty of zombies there. All right, so here we're going to claim this as a safe house in case uh, the military checkpoint and blockade is too tough for me and I get killed. It's always a possibility. All right, so here's the safe house panel. I haven't used this much before. We're going to change the name. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. And they made it this far. Okay. And you have to put that little checkbox down there 
to say respawn in safe house. There we go. Okay. Click. Okay. So I should be good. If I get killed, I'll respawn there and read my journal. So, all right. Morning. We're going to level up our skills a little here. And take care of all these zombies. And uh, let's transcribe the journal so it's completely up to date with my carpentry long blunt it pretty much saves everything that you can earn all right here we go off to the military checkpoint here we are at, oh junkyard i cannot uh can't resist peeking into a junkyard jeez looks empty it's not very good junkyard it's funny i don't see a single car in there well we won't mark that on the map then okay back out on the main road here oh watch those barriers man I always forget those things are there. You could really wreck your your trip by hitting one of those jersey barriers when you don't realize they're there. All right, here we go. Now, this traffic jam is new. And my buddy Norm, who's also playing in the game, told me that he already carved a bloody swath through this area, and indeed he has. So I didn't even have to get out of the truck for the first gate. All right, second gate. Well, there's not a lot of zombies around. That's a good thing. If you're coming to this checkpoint, do it early in the game. Because by the time you hit max pop, there is a lot of zombies here. And it will be tough. I came here in one of my episodes to get a generator, and I had to abandon it after trying twice. Okay, we're through that gate, and it's uh, free sailing from here on, I believe. Yes, this one's open as well. Just drive right on through. That's the main problem with coming to this checkpoint. If you're the first one there, you do have to get out three times, maybe four. Uh, you have to remove the uh, white barriers on the road, the first thing. You can drive over those big barrels. Though. Yeah, look at all the stuff here. I just saw two two generators on the side. There's tons of floodlights. Oh, oh, this is Norm's neighborhood. Yeah, he's right in there. Yep, right down there in that Generac building. You can see the uh, water things on the roof. Mass Generac Company, that's where Norm's basing up. And he's pretty much draining that entire industrial complex of items to use in his base. Oh, yeah, he's been busy. Look at all those bodies. <laughs> All right, we're going to make a second pit stop here. I still need to level some things up, and we're going to pop on into one of these mansions. How about this one? The first one. I've never been to this one before. Hi. Oh, is this your... Oh, rude greeting. Oh, I would be very, very worried right now if I didn't have a safe house and my journal. <laughs> There's a few of them. Hello, come on over. The katana makes quick work of a crowd of 50, I got to tell you. As long as you don't get bit the first 10 seconds when you get out of your truck. <laughs> All right. It's just my hand. Laceration. All right. I'm not going to die. <laughs> get over here. Now I'm angry and bloody. Take that. Right, let's take a peek inside. So these houses are great. They have tons of doors, tons of furniture, and tons of zombies. Did you see what I did there? Rewind a little. Uh... That's my technique for somebody who's banging on a door if I don't know there's someone in there, especially if you know there's someone in there. Just walk past the door and open it. You don't have to turn around. You're already facing away from the zombie. I'm not sure if I've seen anybody else uh, highlight that technique. Let's get cleaned up here and disassemble all these doors. That's good points. And there's hinges. I can snag some of those. Pretty much anything we're going to disassemble up here, especially beds. They give you a lot. All right, so look at that. We're already up to level six carpentry. And here we go with the electrical. That's it. So now I can hot wire. So that's a pretty good thing. Okay. All right, a few more, a uh, couple more levels, but now we can make stairs and, uh, you know, level seven. What am I at? Level eight right here. So we'll be there very quickly. This is a little sneaky mission here. Yeah. Sorry, zombie. Who's over here? Anybody over here? I need uh, need some zombies. Oh, well, there's a few. Look how well you can handle zombies with a katana. That's why I see a lot of streamers <laughs> will uh, carry a katana, but hardly ever use it until they get in a big crowd. And then, whoop, take out the katana. Hmm. Let's try the walk-by technique. See, look at that. You're already walking away from them. Blech. Ha, sucker. I try to do that as much as I can. There's a zombie behind the door. A couple of rude neighbors. And let's continue getting that carpentry all the way up. It's easy here. There's no zombies. Get the next level. Read. There we go. Beds. Big points. 
doors. Good points on doors. There we go. Look at that. Nine. There's no real reason to go any further. Yeah, but all right. Let's take care of the stuff and get on. Over. Holy crap! Swing! Hit him! Swing! Oh, good lord! This has been a very bad, bad experience at this house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have disassembled all the doors. God. All right. Well, I'm not going to die. Lacerations again. Wee! Hey, stylish head bandage. There we go. <sighs> all right, zombie. Let me take a picture. <laughs> it almost got me. <laughs> Grab my supplies and get on out of here. All right. Just going to transcribe right here to make sure. <sighs> Such interruptions. Constant interruptions. There we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> Look at him wiggle. <laughs> Quiet down, zombie. Hey, hey. What is he, super zombie? Oh, now there's another one. Well dressed with a backpack. Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. This is still the safe house. The journal is transcribed, so no matter what happens in the next few minutes in downtown Louisville, we should be able to get back to where we were. No problem. All right. Off down the familiar road. All right. This is the new base here, at least base part one, the Brick Factory. This is in the top corner, northwest corner of Louisville. Lots of uh, grasslands out there. You can see parks and parking lots. Bender likes parking lots because there's usually plenty of cars. And let's get out and clean these guys up. There's a couple. This is why Katana is uh, definitely needed here. It'll probably break before I'm done. That's, that's a lot. But the one hits. That's uh, great. Come on over. I'm creating an abstract painting called Zombie Bodies. Join the crowd. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's walk past. Oh, uh, I didn't do it right. <laughs> All right. Quiet down, you door zombie. Here, a couple more there. Nice bag. I'll take that. Get somebody inside trying to wreck the door. <sighs> Zombies' work is never done. More over here. Some more parking lots. Now, this area that I'm standing in right now is completely fenced except for the entrance we drove through. And I will take care of that very quickly. But in the meantime, if I kill all the zombies that are already in here, including inside the buildings, uh, there won't be any. There's no respawn. So I shouldn't have any pop-ups. And even in the back, near the water out there, that's completely fenced in as well. So I've got two zones I can make really secure. And we'll move on from there. Let's see if these zombies can bash through log walls. If there's enough of them, they can. All right, a couple out here. We'll do a initial cleanup. A few over here. This is where my base monstrosity is going to go. All right. Okay, going to call that a successful day right here. Check below for a list of our players. Thanks, Isaac, for being an admin. Thank you. The other guys are also building enormous things. Ollie got something started, and our Red Viking, he moved over to a warehouse, and he's got a big thing going on over there now. And uh, Norm, Norm's on every time I look. Every time. He must be building the Pentagon or something up there. Plus, we've got Red Viking, Bluebell, Mr. Marauder, Aquain Bay, and Telena in here. And we're all having a great time. Like and sub if you feel like it. And keep watching for updates. We'll see you next time. Bye.